Hey y'all, it's Chrissy with Homes and Things. Listen, today we're going to be taking a look at a traditional stick built home. I'm super excited to bring this home to you. This is the Santa Barbara by Schumacher Homes and this home is absolutely beautiful. Now I know you guys are used to modular and mobile homes, but listen, this home is amazing and I am going to be bringing you lots of different types of homes on this channel okay and so without further ado let's go ahead in and take a look at this home so the one thing that I can say about this porch is that there's a lot of wasted space here I really would have extended that porch all the way to the brick wall just give you a little more space out here it it would have space for seating and for a table and so yeah you know I know this is a model home but that's absolutely something that I would look into now this is the view from the home when you walk in what I like about the home is that you have um, this beautiful entryway right here by the front door and so I keep trying to imagine what I would do in this space I don't think that the furniture here is enough I could see some additional seating here um, I could see a bench under that window for people to sit and take their shoes off or on um, yeah so what would you do in this space because this is a, some space that we absolutely could dress up now this home is uh open uh it's an open concept which i absolutely love but you have the feel of separation here next to the front door with the office i love this office you guys it's not the traditional office setup i love that built-in table that's there it just reminds me of a workspace and now in today's age a lot of people are working from home and sometimes couples even though they're on separate jobs both work from home so i could see this being a dual workspace i absolutely love the built-ins and i love the fact that the entire bookcase isn't open right you have uh the bottom which is closed off so you can store things that you don't want made public you know what i mean so that would be good storage for things that you want to keep tucked away but you can still have beautiful decor items and of course i had to show you that this is soft clothes y'all know i absolutely love that but this office is so beautiful i love the fact that everything in here is white and light and bright with a touch of rustic feel y'all know i'm a rustic girl now so yeah this is the office space and even though it's open it gives you kind of a feel of separation which is absolutely wonderful now we're going to take a look next at the living room love 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 the windows in this space you guys like this home is so bright the one thing that I would say about this living room area is that feature wall. It deserves a fireplace. So I would probably have a fireplace built into that wall with the TV above it. I think that would be absolutely beautiful. And I would possibly make that wall a darker color. But really nice uh, living room area. Not too big. Just perfect for the right family. That window. Uh, all the windows as you're going to see in this home there's a lot of window space in here love the flooring the fact that you can throw a rug down in areas that maybe you want to have a little texture on the floor but the entire um area is hardwood so really really lovely now next to the living room uh is the dining room area and really this is a big space if you walk as we walk around the table take a look at all the space that you have in this dining room so you could even have a bigger table here or you have uh space for maybe a wine rack or additional furniture in this area so really lovely they, they did a wonderful job with the layout of this home with the size of the rooms really beautiful now there isn't a traditional porch outside the sliding glass 
But just imagine how big or how many levels you would have to your uh, entertainment space out back. This You could absolutely do a huge back porch or deck out here. You could do a covered space. You could do so much with the back of this house, especially because you have so many big, bright windows in this home. So really beautiful. Love, love, loving this home. I used to think that the Beverly 2, I've already showed that home, was my favorite here. But I really like this home. This would be perfect for my husband and I. Now, another thing that I like about this home is the size of this island. You've got this huge sink in the island. But look how much space, like your guests or your kids or your family sitting around the island while you prep wouldn't even the sink wouldn't even be a factor right because you have so much space here on this island so really beautiful there's lighting under the island and under the cabinets which gives it an extra pop absolutely love it again you have this huge sink so you could do so much in this space you guys you got your dishwasher underneath and you also have additional shelving and a drawer in this island so really beautiful love the backsplash uh, next to these white quartz countertops i am a sucker for a gas stove absolutely beautiful like they did a great job now of course these are homes that you would have built so if not this style or these colors what would you do right because this isn't the type of home that you're going to purchase as is you're going to this is just a model you are going to build the home that you desire so you have a choice of backsplash cabinet colors everything lots of great space in here lots of shelves and drawers in this area you've got lots of outlets so very well done love the tall cabinets in here just a lot of space to you know store your things really beautiful so that's gonna about do it for the kitchen we're gonna walk through the living room and take a look at the additional bedrooms i hope you're enjoying this tour so far you guys because i had a lot of fun uh touring this home and just imagining what i would do with this space so i can't wait to hear your comments below about what you would do in this space as well so over here on this side of the house you have your additional bedrooms here's additional bedroom number one you know this is beautiful for a girl's room or even a boy's room you could change the it, of course it'll be different bedding in here but i love the fact that you can't you do have space to put more than one bed um in here this is really a nice size bedroom um you could do a lot you could do bunk beds in here you could do two bunk beds in here so really lovely love uh the closet space in here love the upgraded um finishing no wire racks in this home you guys so really beautiful they did a wonderful job again with the layout of this home so this is the first additional bedroom here and it is a nice size let's take a look uh at the additional bathroom or the guest bathroom next door So you have your additional bathroom here, very bright. They have a transom window in here. You have, again, the quartz countertop has been extended into here. Love the flooring throughout the home. Just a really beautiful bathroom. It's just enough space to do whatever you need to do. That shower head is so pretty. Modern uh, black finishes in here, which is really nice. I love the fact that they have a linen closet in this bathroom so you can store your towels, personal hygiene items, sheets for the additional bedrooms or whatever you need. Just a really nice uh, bathroom layout. They do have the vents in the floor. Again, you're having this home built. So if you decide to put them in the ceiling, which is probably what most people would do, then that's your choice. Here we have your second additional bedroom which is another perfect size 
both of these rooms are good space for whoever is occupying them, whether it's a sibling or um, a child or an in-law or a parent. These are two really nice size bedrooms, nice closet space, love the finishing, love the fact that there are ceiling fans in both of these bedrooms, just a great use of space. All right, so now that we've seen the additional bedrooms, we'll go take a look at the rest of the house. Listen, this house is amazing. I can't wait to hear you guys' comments. I can't wait for you to tell me how you feel about the home. I know it's a lot of you that just be looking for mobile or modular homes, but you guys, you know, I enjoy touring homes, period. So I hope you uh, enjoy when I step outside the box and do something different. Um, I don't do it often, but hey, this is absolutely beautiful. So as we walk back across the house, we're going to take a look at the owner suite side of the house. Uh, first door to the right is actually the pantry. And it, this is a big, big pantry, you guys. You could do so much in here. You could store so much in here. You can make it the way you want you can even extend the shelving uh to that short wall or even both of the long walls it's really up to you you know you could take it to the ceiling just whatever you decide to do now next to the pantry is your garage uh you have a two dark door garage here it doesn't look like it because this is a model home but it's a two-car garage in here and then past the garage is actually the laundry room now this first area is a laundry room huge space you could put big tall washer and dryer in here and you have space for storage but past the laundry room is the master so we'll take a look at that once we go into the owner suite but i just wanted to point out that you can also enter the laundry room from the primary bedroom so that's really nice now this is the primary or master or what have you love that it has a slight vault in the ceiling i love the wood on the uh on the main wall behind the headboard i think that is a beautiful feature it matches the beams uh in the common area of the house I'm a rustic girl. If that's not you, you can order uh, and have this home built without it or with a different kind of feature wall. But I think that is absolutely beautiful. And I'm digging how they decorated the headboard they used for this um, uh, primary as well as the lamps, everything. I think they did a perfect job and I could totally see myself in it. Nice size primary love the bathroom another light bright room in here you've got three windows in this bathroom which is really nice now there are there is space for two sinks in here but of course it's a model so it only has one really lovely though i love the fact that uh you have those two big windows uh over the sink it has a huge shower in this room really lovely absolutely lovely i love 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 the tile that they used in here it kind of matches the tile in the kitchen but it's it's really pretty i love the contrast with the floor of the um shower just so pretty it's something that i would absolutely do again i'm a rustic girl but they put kind of modern finishes in these bathrooms so that is beautiful you have a linen closet in this bathroom as well, which is wonderful. A lot of homes these days don't have linen closets. And you have a window that opens in the toilet area, which is great for ventilation. I My home presently doesn't have a window in the bathroom. But if we ever decided to get another one, that is absolutely what I would do. So again, this is the uh primary bathroom really lovely space uh really lovely you've got your primary closet here which is a nice size i wouldn't do this shelving 
I would call California Closets or Ikea or someone and build this out, make it a whole dressing room vibe. I think it would go well with it. But really good use of space. Again, remember you can enter the laundry room from this room, which is a plus. And then you can go into the rest of the house from there. Okay, so you have two ways in and out the primary, uh, two ways to get to the laundry room, which is lovely. Listen, I've really enjoyed touring this home. I hope that you've enjoyed touring this home as well. It is beautiful. If you're interested, this home is through Schumacher Homes. And uh, if you want pricing or details or find out where they build, make sure you give them a call, okay? Thanks for watching and you guys enjoy your day.